Today we're going to be back testing a trading strategy that offers high profit for a small amount of risk. But before I go any further, guys, I have a burning question for you. Do you prefer to trade longer trades that last for days on end, or do you prefer scalping trading strategies? I'd absolutely love for my future strategies to know. If you don't mind putting that down in the comments below, and don't forget, every Friday, I do a giveaway of 100 USDT to a random comment on one of my videos. So without further ado, let's get straight to it. Hey traders, I hope you're going extremely well. My name's David and welcome back to my channel where I go through trading strategies. Today we're going to be looking at another trading strategy based on the NNFX rules. I'm going to be building it using ChatGPT and backtesting it on TradingView. Today I thought I'd go through a little bit more detail on each and every one of the indicators that are there. I'll also put links to all of the indicators down in the descriptions below. I'll show you how to connect it to bots and I'll also show you how to go through the backtesting. We'll go through the backtesting testing results together. Somebody asked me in one of my comments why I continue building to so many strategies and the reason is is because I believe that the holy grail of trading strategy is diversification and diversification means that I need lots of working strategies to work against each other or with each other to flatten out my equity curve. So it means that I have several trading strategies. I have around 13 to 15 trading strategies running which isn't a large number at the moment. Kevin Davy and other algo traders have up to 15 50 or 60 trading strategies running all the time and I've only been doing this for two years so I've got about 15 going at the moment. So I'm continually looking for trading strategies which will complement my trading systems myself which I also put into a forward testing system called incubate.trade which allows me to test all of these trading strategies on like real-time data so I'll be able to see them taking trades as they come in and I kind of build a diversification portfolio which I'm working on at the moment in the back end so you can see which ones work together well. So that's why I continue doing this. Other than that, I also enjoy being part of a Discord where I get to talk to people which have the same sort of common interests as I do. You can join our Discord and get all of my trading strategies and add them to Trading View. The links are down below uh, in the description. Okay, without further ado, let's get straight on to this new trading strategy which I will be back testing on Ethereum today. Okay, great. So I've asked ChatGPT again once again today to come up with an NNFX trading strategy which would be profitable on the one hour time frame on Ethereum. I want to give a one hour time frame a go. It's one of the time frames that I like personally. 15 minutes to one hour seems to give me a good number of trades, keeps me not too much in the market so that I'm risking too long. Those time frames are best for algo trading, but I might be wrong. There may be other higher time frames that would be good as well. Uh, it's just personally, I haven't been able to backtest them long enough on the crypto markets myself. So anyway, I've given it a list of indicators that are interesting to me from the NFX trading systems. And it's come up with this one today. Now this one, it constantly comes up with, it absolutely and totally believes in this trading strategy, which I have already uh, back tested before. So I've asked it for a second one here, which we're gonna be using today. Today, we're gonna be looking at the Tether line, the Vortex indicator, and the William Vix fix, uh, which I'll go into afterwards as well. We're gonna be using ATR for risk management as well. So let's get over to the chart and let's start adding these indicators and see what the back testing looks like. Okay, so the first indicator that we're gonna be adding today is the Tether line. We're gonna be using the Tether line as our base line. Baseline meaning it's going to be the uh, indicator that gives us trend direction. When price is above it, we're looking for longs. When price is below it, we're looking for shorts. We're gonna be looking for the Tether line, which was this one here by H. Potter himself, one of the biggest well-known Pine scripters in trading view. We're going to be using that one today. So I'm going to add that here. Now we're going to be leaving it on default settings of 50. I actually tried to test it with two lines as well. So we'd have a crossover between the lines as well. A lower and faster length and a longer length. We'll be testing both of them. I'm going to put this one on by itself today. We're going to put it on 100 and then I will uh, change it around again afterwards. As you can see, it works out. Let me make it a bit thicker. So as I said, this one here is the tether line, this green line. When we're below it, we're looking for shorts. When we're above it, we're looking for longs. 
I couldn't find much information about the author of the tether line itself. I couldn't find any like history behind it itself. But when you go through the code, as you can see, the tether line that takes the lowest low and the highest high of this value here, which is the value you put in here. We put 100 in the default, it's 50. It takes the highest high and the, the lowest low. And then we take an average of the two. So that is the highest high plus the lowest low divided by two. And that gives us our line here today. So that's going to give us an average line. So I'm hoping this will give us a more responsive and more nuanced approach to higher highs and lower lows on Ethereum than a average moving average uh, than another indicator. So that's what we've uh, been given by ChatGPT today as our baseline. Now, the second step is to find an indicator, which we know what is, uh, to create a confirmation of our entries above this baseline and below this baseline. Okay, next indicator that we're gonna be adding, like I said, for confirmation is the Vortex indicator. Now, I've actually used this one here, which is the Vortex indicator with thresholds defined by Rasid. Rasad, sorry, I hope I didn't butcher your name is the most downloaded. I did test a couple of other ones, but this one seemed to give me the best results. I'm gonna go away and change the colors very, very quickly. Okay, perfect, right, okay. So now we have that on the screen. You can see that we have a green line, which is considered the VI+, plus, the Vortex Indicator+, plus, and the red line is the negative. Okay, the Vortex Indicator is Pretty simple in its own way as well. The indicator was invented by a guy called Etienne Bot and was introduced to the markets in around January 2010 by the TA and Stocks and Commodities magazine in 2010. The actual calculations, as I said, works in the same sort of way here we have the highs and the lows the average of the highs and the lows and mixed in with the sum of the atr divided by each other to create this volatility index so for our entries we have two types of entries that we can possibly use one could be potentially here when we get a crossover but in previous back testing i've actually found that when the green line is uh, above the this oversold period which is 1.3 and the red line is below the oversold period at 0.7 that seems to give us the best back testing results now each strategy has its own backtesting results, so I will test both of them, obviously. Okay, our final indicator that we're going to be adding today is the William Vix Fix. This indicator was created by Larry Williams. This indicator is meant to be, as in its name, Fix the Vix. Vix is an indicator that's often used uh, by traders, but is not adapted to all markets crypto especially uh, so this is potentially a replacement indicator for that so i'm going to be adding the williams v fix now fix here i actually did this indicator here which was a copy of black cat so you can find black cats here where i added this white line dynamic dynamic white line here i'll put the link to both of them down in the description of youtube after this video okay so the idea of this indicator is we're actually waiting for us to come up below this white line here to take our entries i will also test obviously as we come above uh, as we're actually looking for a bit more volatility in crypto markets so potentially this mark would have been a better entry just here than one where we're below the line uh, we'll see we'll have a look we'll see how it goes we'll see whether it is actually possible to do both on back testing okay i have actually cherry picked a entry for us here as you can see we are above the tefa line here training above the tefa line we're looking to be above the green above the red so we're that's correct we're also looking for the green to be in the over uh, over brought and we're looking for the red to be in the oversold area. Absolutely perfect. We're looking for the Larry Williams V fix to be above this white line. Like I said, this is one of the trading strategies that I will be testing uh, and I'll give you the results afterwards, which work best. I'm gonna enter my long position just here like this. And we're gonna be looking for to add a ATR bands by David Tick by David Tick, this one here. Also will be in the links in the description below. I'm gonna set the uh, this to 2.5 here and 2.5. I'm gonna zoom in on our entry here 
and I'm going to be placing our stop loss just here. Now I'm going to be setting our stop loss to uh, one to two. Boom, and that would have been an absolute perfect entry where you would have where you would have taken away 3.59% of the market, and you would have been able to find more entries as you went up and up here. So that was a our long. Let's see if we can find a short. Okay, here we are for our perfect short here. As I said always, we are cherry picking, guys. Right. Let me add a short position just here on this entry. We have the red line above the overbought, the green line above uh, below the overshort. We're looking for our VIX fix to be above the white line as is. And of course, we're looking for shorts. So we're looking for price action to be below the tether line. We're going to set our stop loss to the ATR bands just like that. And we're going to be setting our risk to reward to two, which would have been a perfect entry as well. You would have taken profit at 3.18% and you would have had a stop loss at 1.5% uh, and that would have been a perfect win. Now you can also uh, trail the stop losses using these ATR bands here. Uh, I will be back testing that as well. Right, without further ado, I'm going to go away and code this so we can get back testing results. As I said, I'm going to be back testing on Ethereum one hour. In future videos, I may test on different timeframes, all in the same video as well. Just don't want these videos to be too, too long. Uh, and we do have a group called the Elite Backtesters where you can come and find the best settings, which are all being recorded in this wonderful new platform that we built called Incubate.Trade, where we incubate trading strategies. As you can see, next month, there's already 16 new setups that have been added. We currently have just under 100 uh, setups added. They're being live recorded, uh, all of the trading strategy setups, so you can see all of the entries that are taking, etc. as they go along. You've got loads of data, loads of graphs. You can see how the actual trading strategy works. Right, I'm gonna go away and code this and give us back testing results. Come on David, and once again, he's got to code a new strategy. He'll be back in just five minutes. Come on David, show us, show us what you got. Guys, before I go any further, this is not a sponsored video, but a huge shout out and thanks to Bybit for all of the effort help that they give to our community. If you guys are looking for a reduction in trading fees, you can get up to 30% off of your trading fees. Use the links to sign up for Bybit below. Having lower trading fees is already its own edge in the market and will help you to find loads of trading strategies a lot more profitable you also get huge bonuses when you're on your first deposits once again thanks to bybit and we as a community get a small kick kickback from that so thank you very much guys for using that link if you think it'd be something useful for you thank you bybit right over to the back testing result okay guys here we are on the screen i'm going to activate the back testing results here take it out of optimizer mode drum roll please Boom, right, okay. So most of this is set on the settings that I said earlier. Uh, I have an ATR band and an R risk to reward of currently set to two. The risk, the stop loss is set to 2.5. So I haven't actually changed anything. I will give you the settings for each of the indicators below here, which you'll be able to screenshot and take back. These are the settings that I've used to uh, actually build this trading strategy. If I keep going down, as you can see, I've left all of the settings on default. The only thing that I have removed is trading on Saturday and Sunday because they never give me profit and always makes my trading strategies generally lose money. And I prefer to spend my time with my family than uh, having to worry about bots anyway. So it's a good kind of thing that happens. That's it. That's everything that's happened inside that trading strategy. Let's go and have a look at these backtesting results. So the trading strategy has a much lower win rate than we're used to. We are at 44.78%. It isn't a bad thing because we are on a risk to reward of two. Max wins in a row was four. Max losses in a row was five, which you could expect with this kind of win rate. You're going to obviously win a couple of times and lose maybe one more time. Total wins was 60, total losses was 74. So we're not talking of loads of losses against the wins, we're pretty equal there. 
Now, if you look at most of the months, they're all in a green, which is always a good sign. This month had zero trades by the looks of it, and these other ones have quite small losses. But right, let's have a look at the equity curve because that's what we're here for today. Right, okay, as you can see, it's in the green. It looks pretty good to me. We have a net profit of 413%, a total number of trades of 134. As I said earlier, we have a win rate of 44.78 and a profit factor of 2.57. We have a max drawdown of 24%. Let me remove myself from the screen here so you can see the full equity curve right up to the end here. We're going to go over the actual buy to hold in this period would have been 65%. Our shop ratio is a little bit low than, lower than I'd like at 0.57. I'm sure that we can improve this by adding some other confluence maybe. And these are the other statistics, as you can see here. I'll be adding this to incubate.trade for some live trading to see whether it actually works or not on live markets. So I said earlier, I'll show you how very, very quickly to add these to bots. It's very, very simple. You scroll down to the bottom of David Tech Trading Strategies. You go here, there's a full tutorial on how to connect to bots. Click simple bot here, click, click here. This will allow you to connect your uh, trading view alerts to, to, to our platform on David Tech. You go to trigger.trade. You sign up for an account here and you click on simple bot. It will give you some code that you'll be able to add to your alerts here and it will uh, connect you directly across to your Bybit account, which are, or Bybit or uh, plenty of other exchanges like OKX, Bybit, uh, Binance and other ones. You'll be able to take these entries completely automatic without having to worry about it, uh, being up all night trading. That was a high-end overview of how to connect bots o uh, to, uh, over to your Bybit account. But uh, there is a full video on the website that I did for you showing you how to do it step by step. Okay, guys, thank you very much for joining me. Don't forget that I have a giveaway at this end of the month here uh, on the 31st. I'm going to be giving away iPads and things like that. You can join that using the Gleam links, all of the links to the indicators, Patreon, my Discord, the competitions, everything will be down in the description below. I hope this one you enjoyed, guys. I went a little bit more into detail into what's behind the actual indicators themselves. If you have any ideas for trading strategies that you'd like me to code and backtest, I'll happily do it here on YouTube. I'll also do it on some of the lives that I'll be doing on Wednesday evenings as well. Without further ado, guys, take care, keep safe, keep coding, trade like a boss, and don't forget to comment below. There's 100 USDT up for grabs. Take care, have a nice week. Bye bye. Come on, David, and once again, he's going to code a new strategy. He'll be back in just five minutes. RSI and MACD.